Alright guys, today I have for you a Master Pro Series, the number's not on here, but it's the number, I don't know, remember, 6831 or something? Um, 6121. So, what's neat with this lock is the core is, there's, there's pretty strong tension, but you have to manually lift out the core uh, shackle so that's the key not horrible I mean it's, it's a master lock so it's probably as radical as we'll see throw it in the vise using a pry bar and 40 thousandths let me adjust the angle so you can see a little bit easier Long end of the pry bar to access that recessed keyway. I'm going to use a short hook made by Trekmaster30. And let's see what it takes to open this up. Okay. Just dropped into a false set. One thing nice about the Pro Series is they they do contain security pins. They're not the hardest in the world, but they at least tried a little bit. Let's see. All right, so have it open, shackle's not moving. There we go. It's pretty fast, but like I said, it's master lock. What do you do? Okay. Needs I need an Allen wrench. And uh, this is a lock that was sent to me by Fast Charlie. I was pretty excited for it because I've never actually opened any of the master lock uh, that are meant to be like the weather guard series or whatever they're called so that's out, get that out move the plate, let's see it wedges and I think over there Hmm. What? I know it has the little lip that holds it in place. I don't remember what side that lip's on, though. Hopefully this isn't one of those videos where... Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna remove the core tweezers. an anti bypass wafer? Yes it is. Alright. Nice job, Master Lock. I'm proud of you. For everyone else, I just would assume you'd have it, but eh, it's out of place, but I'll fix later. With Master Lock, I'm proud of them for <laughs> dropping that extra three cents. Now, I believe these have the crimped cores. This is the first time that I'll be disassembling this lock. So I don't actually know what we have in here. Grab our key. Maybe it's not crimped. Maybe it is. This one is not. That's nice. Six pin core, only pinned up with five. All of them had to be picked. Uh, 
I'm assuming all of these will be completely normal. Yep. Okay. I'll go up. Little bool in one. Deal spring. Come on. Very light serrations. Another bool in three. Move to the other side. A bool in five. And all of these springs are the same. I just launched that spring. There we go. Same in four. All right. So, and this is generally what you see in the Pro Series. Um, sometimes there's not a serration. Sometimes there is. So, you can see that's a very, very light serration. In fact, I don't even think I noticed it. Let's see how it would interact. It was in two. Oh, I should zoom out. There's some. So, I don't think that serration even came into play, which is a shame. Uh, when I reassemble it, I'm going to make it a little bit harder. And number three was the one that was pretty low, so I don't think... I know, okay. That, that one would. What happened? Okay. So, that's what we have in this. In this. Master Series 6121. Uh, not the greatest lock, not the worst lock either. I'm going to re pin this up with uh, security pins for the American locks. I'm including security driver, or sorry, key and pins, so hopefully that'll make this lock a little bit more challenging, a little bit more fun. Alright, if you liked what you saw, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them below, and thank you for watching. Alright guys, one more thing. Uh, before I reassemble this lock, I thought I'd show you the changes that I made. So, the original is up here. We're in 1, 3, 4, and 5. There were there's pretty normal spools. Um, and then two had this pretty lame serrated pin, but it was with one of the longer key pins, so the serrations never actually uh, came into play. So what I did was replace all of the driver pins, sorry, key pins, I thought I made that mistake, with the serrated key pins that are in American locks. Um, one, two, and three have the same type of s excuse me s duels that we had in the original lock, but I replaced four and five's driver pins with the American serrateds, and four and five have the shortest key pin, so the serrations will have the the most effect. The springs in 1, 3, and 5 I'm leaving the same. The springs in 2 and 4 I'm replacing with these brass springs just to mix it up a little bit. So um, that should make this lock harder. I may do a video later where I open it again and see if it's harder. We'll see. But for now, just thought I'd share you this little update. Thanks for watching.